Good morning and welcome back 648 as you take a live look from our Steve's Paint Supply camera. We've got clear skies and cool temperatures out there this morning, starting out right now in the low 40s with winds out of the northeast at 7. Today, it's going to be relatively warm and mild, a little windy down to our south, but pleasant temperatures, colder air coming in through the weekend. 42 right now, as I said, in the Springs, 36 Pueblo. You've got 30s, 40s, and 50s out across the plains. We're down to 23 in Gunnison this morning in the low 30s for Alamosa. You can already see we've got some showers and an area of high pressure over the west coast, and that's going to help to drive that front through the area this afternoon. Not a whole lot of snow for today, but we'll get a reinforcing shot of cold air and snow for late Friday night into Saturday morning and also coming up Saturday night into Sunday morning. You can see those showers uh, back to our west over Salt Lake City, some snow in the higher terrain. We've got partly cloudy skies in the mountains out to our west this morning. So again, 70s, upper 70s, low 80s across the plains. We do have red flag fire warnings for Pueblo south to portions of Huerfano and Los Animas County because of the dry and breezy conditions this afternoon, 65 in Salida for your high today. So we'll continue to see that front sag through and we'll continue to bring some rain and snow showers into the mountains as we head into the afternoon and evening. You will notice that along the I-25 corridor, we stay dry today. Lingering snow showers late tonight and possibly overnight and into Friday morning. Uh, Friday is going to be much chillier. That cold air continues to kind of move into the region. We'll get another system coming through here and really back those temperatures off as we go from Saturday into Sunday as that cold air slides into Colorado. So here we are tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., partly to mostly cloudy skies, then a bit of sunshine for the afternoon, and by tomorrow night into Saturday morning, some moderate to heavy snow over the higher terrain. It's as we work our way into the day, Saturday afternoon and evening, that we start to see some rain and snow showers for Colorado Springs, Teller County, snow to the north, Palmer Divide, and up into the Denver area. It all switches over to snow as we head overnight and into Sunday morning, and we could pick up our first accumulating snow of the season. Certainly in the darker pinks here, there's kind of a bullseye and a couple different models kind of honing in on this area, but generally 12 to 16 inches of snow in the higher elevations. We're looking at maybe a half an inch to an inch, and it could certainly be less than that. Uh, so we'll keep you posted, but the one thing that is almost a guarantee is the colder temperatures coming our way. 57 and 49 over uh, for your Friday, so everybody dropping. 63 Salida, 64 in Alamosa, so that colder air kind of getting trapped out across the plains. Now your seven-day forecast, look at our morning lows. Saturday morning, we're down to 30 degrees. 18 degrees Sunday morning and a high of only 33 Sunday afternoon. So snow showers Saturday night and into the day on Sunday. Pueblo 57 and 53 as we work our way towards the weekend. 19 Monday morning to a high of 47 degrees Monument Palmer Lake. I would plan on some accumulating snow as we go from Saturday night into Sunday morning. 25 for your high Sunday afternoon and we start out cold Monday morning down to 11 degrees. Canyon City snow showers Saturday night into Sunday morning 24 to 35 20 to 48 on Monday and finally for Woodland Park and Teller County. I also think you're going to see some accumulating snow from Saturday evening overnight into Sunday morning. Still some question marks as to about how much, but right now I would say in that neighborhood of probably two to four inches. Uh, 13 to 27 for your